Right now is 804 this morning. Little Rock police are investigating a shooting that left one man dead. Police say it happened at around one this morning on Geyer Springs Road at the Stone Ridge Apartments. They say the victim was shot multiple times. Police have not yet identified the victim or a suspect at this time, but we will give you more information as it becomes available. A Conway woman accused of Medicaid fraud set to appear before a judge today. Kathy Hall is facing several charges. She is the former executive director of My House, which is an organization in Faulkner County that takes care of handicapped adults. Prosecutors say she withdrew money from bank accounts belonging to a dozen clients. Hall's hearing is set for one this afternoon. And back here in the capital city, the next phase of the Broadway Bridge project is rolling into town as we speak. And today, four oversized trucks are set to bring in the steel that will become the new bridge's twin arches. Well, rolling down the river is where they're coming from. Victoria Price is live uh, at the uh, Clinton Pedestrian Bridge talking about these uh, parts coming in over the next few months. Victoria? Hey, good morning, guys. I want to show you something. A lot of people over the past few weeks have been curious about these yellow structures next to the Clinton Pedestrian Bridge. These are actually where they're going to be offloading those steel beams that come in today and keeping them until they're ready to actually go into the bridge. Some of those beams weigh more than 80,000 pounds, so some very big steel that's going to be coming in later this morning. From here, they'll be constructed, they'll be assembled, painted, and then they're going to barge them up the river to the actual Broadway Bridge construction site. When it's all said and done, it's going to look a little bit like this, and the highway department says that we can expect to see those twin arches rising up over the river within the next six months. Now, soon after that happens, the current century-old Broadway Bridge will be put out of service, meaning that the 25,000 cars that drive the bridge every day, they're going to have to find somewhere else to go. The Main Street Bridge is the designated detour, but with only about 10,000 drivers a day on that bridge, that's a lot more traffic than it typically sees. So the city of Little Rock tells me it'll be retiming some of the downtown traffic lights and turning some one-way streets into two directions to help a little bit with that displacement issue. Now, a bit of a silver lining here. Once the bridge is taken out of commission, the contractors have a 180-day deadline to get the new bridge completed. So say the bridge is taken out around Memorial Day, which is what they're expecting. There will be a new bridge by the time we get to Thanksgiving, so it won't be too long that drivers will have to deal with that detour. Live in North Little Rock, I'm Victoria Price for Fox 16. Good day. Pat and Suzanne? Thank you, Victoria. The actions of a North Little Rock high school student may lead to his expulsion and even criminal charges. It all stems from this cell phone video, which was posted online. You can see here it shows the student blowing smoke into the teacher's face. Police say it happened Monday during final exams. Now, the school district wouldn't go into uh, detail on possible disciplinary uh, action, but say it could range from nothing at all to full expulsion. A former chaplain now facing 50 counts of sexual assault. Prosecutors say Kenneth DeWitt was a chaplain at the McPherson Women's Unit in Newport when he had sexual contact with three inmates. The alleged crimes happened from January 2013 through September of 2014. Another step taken to restore ties between the U.S. and Cuba. The two nations agreeing to restore commercial airline service between our two countries. However, the move does not lift the U.S. ban on general tourism to the Caribbean island. U.S. travelers must meet at least one of 12 criteria to visit, such as being Cuban-American or going on an educational tour or a journalistic activity. The New Orleans City Council voting to approve the removal of four Confederate monuments. They hope to break the city's ties with its Confederate past. After months of meetings and discussion, city council members decided that the four monuments are nuisances. Now, some of the statues that will be removed include Robert E. Lee, Jefferson Davis, and the Battle of Liberty Place in the Central Business District. And now on to San Bernardino, California, where another man is arrested in relation to the mass shooting that happened two weeks ago. Enrique Marquez Jr., a longtime friend of accused terrorist Saeed Farouk, is now charged with conspiring to commit crimes of terrorism. Marquez was also charged with the unlawful purchase of two assault rifles, which were used by Farouk and his wife in those shootings. Well, hey, if you love pandas, you're going to love this next story. <laughs> Four-month-old <laughs> Bebe, the giant panda, made his debut Thursday at Washington's National Zoo. Now, folks around the world have Watch the 17 and a half pound cub grow up on the zoo's panda cam. But well, this was the first time in public, actually. Bebe is a cute bebe. Was uh, he, and he was born in August. The celebrated cub, whose name means precious treasure, was named by First Lady Michelle Obama and the First Lady of China. He is the cutest thing.